happening today. Some of the U.S. will be treated to a solar eclipse, but this one is special. It's known as a ring of fire. Sounds like out of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Really? Okay. <laughs> right? This will not be a total eclipse, oh, but okay. instead, the moon will almost completely be covered. Okay, the, the, it's going to cover the sun, but it has a little ring around it. Okay, yeah. NASA says the ring of fire becomes visible in Oregon around noontime. That's nine o'clock their time, and then it's going to follow a path south to Texas. Everyone outside that path will see a partial eclipse if the skies are clear. Ours obviously won't. NASA plans to use the eclipse as a research tool today. During eclipses, we have a unique opportunity to study the connectivity between the sun and the earth, how the sun really influences the earth. One way is as the moon blocks the sunlight from the sun onto the earth, we can watch how that impacts the earth's atmosphere and the special layer of the earth's atmosphere called the ionosphere. Um, this is a special conducting layer of the atmosphere and it impacts our radio waves. So we can watch how that little patch of reduced sunlight, how, that, how the ionosphere uh, responds to that. Now, if you want to see the eclipse, and this is important, be sure to use special eclipse glasses or a pinhole camera. You know, you put the foil in the box and right. then you watch the shadow. Yes. So you can also use solar filters if you're looking through a telescope. But here at home, as Rod mentioned, we might not see anything because we're looking at a dreary day. Mother Nature not cooperating mm -hmm. as much, huh? Yeah, you know, well, we know what we could have seen if it weren't for <laughs> right. Mother yes. Nature giving us a cloud cover. You know, so that will be begin, in, uh, beginning around noon, you know, for those who maybe, just maybe, get a glimpse of some sunshine out there. But for us, we're mostly mm -hmm. looking at cloud mm -hmm. cover. And then it wraps up, of course, this afternoon with the peak actually happening around 1 o'clock. Now,